Alright, so this tutorial is going to be simply a demo of the actual tools themselves. So I'm under the build tab, quite a few tools. These are going to be the actual main five draw tools that we currently are using. If you hover over it, it'll say draw a single tool, draw continuous, paint area, randomizer tool, and of course the eraser. So whenever you actually select a prefab, it's automatically going to select the draw single tool. So it's already ready to draw. Draw continuous actually lets you press and hold to draw multiple of the same model. Paint area, you'll see there's a square on the screen itself. If I release, it actually draws it over that whole thing. There is a neat feature that you can attach to the prefabs. I'll actually discuss that more in detail later. But this particular block has no special... Um, the material itself is pretty much just flat colors, so I designed this one. So it looks like it just repeated it again, but in fact, with this particular one, it actually stretched it. So I'm going to show the shaded wire, wire frame, and you can see it's really one polygon stretched perfectly to the size of the grid. Back to regular shaded mode. Now the randomizer itself, I just clicked on. Um, you can specify certain things have um, be able to be randomized. Um, there's a lot of details to the randomization options. I'm going to go into those later in its own dedicated tutorial. By the way, the hotkey by default it's X lets you randomize the actual um, seed itself, so you can actually change the look of it. In this case, I want you to see how these three actually get swapped between as well. I'll go into that in more detail. Also, after you place, it randomizes the seed automatically. Lastly, I'm going to paint an area, show off the eraser, big red thing, cut a hole right through it. pretty straightforward. For the most part, it only affects the ones that are on that level of the grid. In fact, let me back up to the grid itself. So, this icon simply toggles the grid on and off. It can also be done with the hotkey G. You have the ability to move the grid up or down. Also, Shift W goes up, Shift S goes down. This can be modified. Now, lastly, I'm going to get into the rotation itself. So, this is rotate. I'm going to use the hotkey, which is spacebar. You also have the ability to change the axis that it's going to rotate on. Just simply by clicking it, it toggles around. You can actually limit your own models how they can rotate. In fact, if I were to choose Z, I'm, I'm hitting the space bar, it's not rotating. It's the same way with X. I only permitted this model to rotate on Y, and I specified that it could only rotate by 90 degrees at a time. Flip works the exact same way. Let me, oh, excuse me, flip. I used the hotkey F for that. And you can actually choose the axis that it flips over. Can't really tell, but it's actually flipping on the same axis, but the pixels look slightly different on both. All right. Um, I, I will break down the paint on a future tutorial. I was debating that for a second, but yeah, I'll make that its own separate tutorial. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and get into the paint now because the paint tool is actually pretty darn simple. So what I'm going to do is let me draw a couple different things here. I gotta quit hitting that hotkey. I'm just using draw single and placing them like that. And now I'm gonna go to the paint tab. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the terrain. This is not the most friendly set of, of materials because these are actually all UV maps, but grass block snow is pretty descriptive. So if you hover over any icon, whether in the build tab or in the actual paint tab, it actually, after a moment, gives you the name of the tool. So pillar base, crate. All right, so I have the right one selected and I'm just gonna simply press and hold. 
and you'll see it's actually painting those with an alternate material. In this case, it's just actually showing a slightly different variation on the pixels there. I did the same thing for snow. I put that under props. That's facing this right here. Pretty simple. Oops, I missed one. So let me scrub that. So that's the scrub tool. It restores it back to whatever it was originally on the prefab itself. And I think I did one for the post as well. There we go. A little bit of a snowy scene there. Pretty simple. So you have your paint tool, you have your restore material tool uh, labeled as a scrub brush. I will be doing more tutorials. They're probably all going to be uploaded on the same day. Um, but make sure you check out the main channel. Make sure you su subscribe. Um, you will find all the math tutorials on my channel. Thank you.